This year in the Toronto International Film Festival, a revolutionary new queer documentary is premiering. A Jihad for Love tells the story of the struggle of gay and lesbian Muslims throughout the world. I myself is homosexual. I know what I've been through. I fasted 80 days every year besides uh, um, um, Ramadan, asking Allah to help me to just get rid of these things. We feel that it's not a choice that we make that um, somehow the Qur'an should be speaking about us as well, that we also have rights as human beings. Homosexuality is a crime not only in Islam, in every divine religion, and is punishable in Islam by death. Of course it was hard to convince the characters to talk about their lives. Many of them exist in situations that are dangerous. Um, they have been exiled from their families. They have been asked to leave their mosques. They have not found any support systems whatsoever. And when you feel that alone sometimes, um, someone coming with a camera and asking you to talk to them is actually a relief. <laughs> <laughs> There's this common misconception that Islam does not allow you to talk about your sexuality. There is n this could not be further from the truth. I always say that a sexual revolution of immense proportions was part of the very birth of Islam. There was a promise of gender uh, equality. There were frank and honest discussions in the Prophet's time and in the Quran about sexual behavior and sexual morality. And there was stress on the sexual act just for pleasure beyond reproduction. <laughs> par l'accord de tous les savants. Les scandales de pénétration, c'est bon, il n'y a pas de punition qui est grave, il n'y a pas quelque chose de grave. Somewhere along the way in the 1427 year old history of this religion, we lost our way and we stopped having those discussions that we used to have as Muslims. Do you think gay people should be stoned to death? Yes. No, they didn't say so, they said they must have put it in front of the Muslim But they don't do that here. Yeah. They do it in Egypt. How would you it feel it? if they should do that? I'm now so open and on TV just, and now oh, this movie and everything. Go. And what if they did they decide to not catch me in it? Can you picture it? Okay. There they come for your daddy, they put him in chains. What will you do? I will make the eye and say, oh Allah, don't let my daddy feel this. And just let him die one time with the first stone. All Muslims need to pick up their cameras and go out on their jihads of the camera and make sure that we bring rich films into many different audiences so that people can engage with them. I've met Muslims of all colors, shapes, sizes and mindsets and, and I, what I'm trying to stress with this film is that no one person can claim to represent Islam and the violent minority that seeks to represent Islam right now is completely wrong and profoundly wrong.